In this video, we will learn about three different topics. Let's start with our first objective. Let's find the end term of an arithmetic sequence. Let's have this problem. Find the seventh term of the arithmetic sequence negative 9, negative 5, negative 1, 3, and so on. To do this, we need to get our common difference. So we have to choose any two consecutive terms. In this case, I will use a sub 2 and a sub 1. d equals negative 5 minus negative 9. And our d here is equal to 4. In order to get the 7th term, we need to get the 5th and the 6th term first. To do that, we will just add this common difference to our 4th term. So 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. 7 plus 4 is equal to 11. And 11 plus 4 is equal to 15. Now, our a sub 7 here is 15. Using the same sequence, now let's find out our, our 99 term. As we all know, our common difference here is 4. And as what we have tried earlier, we did it manually. In this case, we can actually continue adding it by 4. Plus 4, 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 plus 4. And a lot of plus 4 until we get our a sub 99. And we know that this will take us a lot of time. Instead, mathematics will give you the formula to simplify the solving. And our formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the difference of n and 1 times d. We already know our d, which is the common difference, our a sub 1, the first term, our a sub n now here is the n term. And the n is actually the number of terms. To be familiar with the formula, let's try to use it. Going back to the problem, solving for the 99 term of the sequence, negative 9, negative 5, negative 1, 3, and so on. First, let's identify the given. Our d, common difference is 4. Our first term, our first term is negative 9. A sub n is our n term, which is a sub 99. And our a sub 99 is unknown. And for the n, the number of terms, there will be 99 terms. So since we already have the given, we now have to write our formula. Let's substitute the given. So we have a sub 99 equals negative 9 plus the quantity 99 minus 1 times 4. Solve first what is inside the parenthesis, 99 minus 1. So you have there 98. And remember, our rule in the order of operations, multiplication first before addition. So 4 times 98 is 392. Then this time, we can now add our negative 9. And our a sub 99 is 383. Let's explore more problems. If the 21st term of an arithmetic sequence is negative 17, and the common difference is negative 3, find the first term. So in here, identify all your given. Our common difference is negative 3. a sub 1 is actually unknown while our a sub n is the 21st term, which is a sub 21, that is equal to negative 17. And our n here is 21. Write down your formula and then substitute. Now let's solve the problem. To solve a sub 1, we need to get the additive inverse of negative 60, and that is positive 60. Therefore, that positive 60 is also added on the left side. Negative 17 plus 60 is equal to a sub 1. 
and solving, we'll get a sub 1, which is equal to 43. There is another problem here. Given two terms in the arithmetic sequence, a sub 5 is equal to negative 8 and a sub 25 is equal to 72. Find D. In this case, write down all our given. D is unknown. There is no a sub 1 either. We know that our a sub n is a sub 25 or the 25th term which is 72. And our n will be 25. Also, take note that we have our a sub 5 which is negative 8. In this case, instead of using our original formula, we will be changing 1s to 5 because we don't have the first term but we have the fifth term. So your formula will look like this a sub n is equal to a sub 5 plus n minus 5 times d. Let us substitute the values. So we have here this. Again, solve first what is inside the parentheses and we now have 72 is equal to negative 8 plus 20 d. In this case, to remove negative 8, we have to add its additive inverse positive 8 on both sides. So you have here 72 plus 8 is equal to 20d. And in solving, you will get 80 is equal to 20d. And divide both sides by 20, you will get d is equal to 4. Now, it's your turn. I have three problems for you to practice. Now, let's try our second objective, which is to determine arithmetic means. When we speak of arithmetic means, these are the terms between any two non-consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence, meaning these are the numbers or this is the number between any terms. Let's try these problems. Insert two arithmetic means between 49 and 31. Therefore, we have to place two blanks in between the numbers. To solve the problem, let's identify first the given. Going back to this formula, we can derive the formula for the common difference. We can now have d is equal to a sub n minus a sub 1 all over n minus 1. And now, we will just substitute the given values. Negative 18 over 3, which is equal to negative 6. Upon getting your common difference, we can now add it to our first term. 49 plus negative 6 is equal to 43. 43 plus negative 6 is equal to 37. And 37 plus negative 6 is equal to 31. Now, we have inserted two arithmetic means between 49 and 31. Now, let's have our third example. We are now required here to insert three arithmetic means between 7 and 23. Again, let us put three blank spaces in between the numbers. Then, let us identify our given. Using the derived formula, d is equal to a sub n minus a sub 1 all over n minus 1, we substitute the given. We now have 23 minus 7 all over 5 minus 1. This leads us to 16 over 4. And 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. So to get the three means, we will just add 4 to the first term. We have completed our arithmetic means. Going back to the same problem, I'm going to show you a shortcut. Note that this is only applicable for odd number of arithmetic means. Since we have here three blanks as odd number, we can use our shortcut. To do this, the first thing that we'll be able to solve is the third term. We will just simply add the first and the last term and divide it by 2. Correct. 
This is actually the formula in getting the average of the numbers. 7 plus 23 is 30 divided by 2 is 15. So we now have to put 15 in the middle. To get our second term, we will do the same. We just add 17 and 15, which is 22, divided by 2. This gives us 11. Now we already have our second term. And for the fourth term, we can repeat the process by adding 15 plus 23, which is 38, and 38 divided by 2 is 19. In this case, we also have our given. Take note, we did not get the common difference. Instead, we directly got the second, third, and fourth term of the problems. Again, this is only applicable for odd number of arithmetic means. Now, it's your turn! Now, let us go to our third objective, to determine the sum of the terms of a given arithmetic sequence. The sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence is what we call an arithmetic series. It is denoted by capital S subscript N. Let's solve this problem. Find the sum of the first four terms of an arithmetic sequence whose first term is 1 and the common difference is 3. To do this, let's write down the sequence. Since we are looking for the sum, we simply add the numbers, and our S sub 4 here is equal to 22. Let's have another problem. Find the sum of the integers from 1 to 100. This problem is solved by the French mathematician Carl Friedrich Gauss when he was 9 years old. His teacher gave him this problem. And writing, we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to 98 plus 99 plus 100. Upon looking at the numbers, he noticed a pattern. If we add the first and the last term, we get 101. If we do the same for the next terms, 2 plus 99 is also 101. 3 plus 98 is also 101. He was able to create a formula. He started by adding the first term and the last term, a sub 1 plus a sub n. And since we paired up the numbers, we now have there n over 2. So our formula for the sum of arithmetic sequence is equal to n over 2 times the quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n. Now, let's answer the problem. Your formula S sub n is equal to n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. We know that our S sub, since there are 100 terms, we substitute it to the formula. We now have S sub 100 is equal to 100 over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub 100. 100 over 2 is 50. Our a sub 1 is 1, and our a sub 100 is 100. Continue solving, we will get 50 times 101. And 50 times 101 is equal to 5050. Let's try the formula in solving another problem. Find the sum of the first 10 terms of the arithmetic sequence 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. We have, we will be using the formula S sub n is equal to n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. However, we do not know our last term. We will now substitute the formula for finding the nth term. So we now have S sub n is equal to n over 2 times a sub 1. And the formula for your a sub n is a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. And simplifying, we'll get our new formula as s sub n is equal to n over 2 times 2a sub 1 
plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. Now, let's identify the given. We know that our n is equal to 10, our a sub 1, which is equal to 5, and our d, which is equal to 5. Again, for the common difference, just subtract any two consecutive terms. We write the formula and then substitute the given. S sub 10 is equal to 10 over 2 times 2 times your first term 5 plus 10 minus 1 times D. Again, follow the order of operations. In this case, we can now divide 10 over 2, which is 5. And also, we can multiply 2 times 5, which is 10. And then inside the parentheses, 10 minus 1 is 9 multiplied by 5. Solving, we will now get S sub 10, which is equal to 275. Since we already have two formulas, let's now try another problem. Find the sum of multiples of 3 from 50 to 100. We know that our a sub 1 is a multiple of 3 closest to 50. And our a sub n is a multiple of 3 closest to 100. But the problem here is that we don't know our n. Because of that, we cannot use this formula. Trying the other formula, we notice that there is also n here. Therefore, we cannot use this formula. Instead, we will be going back to this formula, the nth term formula. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. We need to get first our n. To do that, our a sub n here would be 99. Our a sub 1 is 51. And we know that our common difference is 3 because it is multiples of 3. To solve for n, we have to distribute first the 3 to the parentheses n minus 1. And we get 99 is equal to 51 plus 3n minus 3. Next is we need to combine like terms. So we have here 99 equals 48 plus 3n. To get rid of 48, we need to add the additive inverse of 48, which is negative 48, to both sides. We now have 99 minus 48, which is equal to 3n. 51 is now equal to 3n. And dividing both by 3, we get 17 as our n. Since we already have our n, we can now go back to our sum formula. So in here, we will not be using our common difference anymore. Now let's substitute. Adding what is inside the parentheses, we get 17 over 2 times 150. To simplify the solution, we can divide 150 by 2. And we get 75. So S sub 17 here is actually 17 times 75, which is actually 1,275. We are done discussing our arithmetic series. Now, it's your turn. I have your three problems for you to answer. You may take a screenshot and pause this video because the next thing that you will see are the answers. Congratulations! We finished three topics under arithmetic sequence. Thank you for watching!